This is Zach from Jimico Marine, and this week we're going to be finalizing the installation of the Airmore Smart Boat modules on this 90 foot burger. So, hopefully, uh, everything goes smooth, but thanks to Electronics Unlimited, they did a wonderful job of installing all the network stuff, pulling cables, getting the sensors tied in, and, and really placing these modules down. Um, the majority of what we're going to be doing is going to be set up, looking at that software, and doing some alerts and alarms. So, again, it's a beautiful boat. We're in beautiful Palm, Be uh, Palm Beach, Florida, and I uh, just couldn't ask for better weather. So hopefully you guys get a lot out of it, and uh, we'll get to work. We're inside the engine room of a 90-foot burger, and we're going to be doing an ASM installation to replace the existing ISIS system as well as tie in the fuel flow. So we have went ahead and installed the modules, and we've got half of them running. Uh, the other half we're actually going to go through and set up for you and you'll get to see some of that process today in this in, uh, in this video so just as a quick overview what we're looking at is I can get up top we're going to see how the CES is handling fuel flow uh, this module is handling batteries which is the T2 and this module is for fresh water uh, engine room temperature so we've got quite a few things going on inside this engine compartment. Uh, we're also converting the engines from J1708 to NEMA 2000. That's going to be up on the flybridge. And down below, you'll see our brand new Airmar fuel flow sensor. So it's a single sensor that allows for both supply and return to be measured. Traditionally, it requires two sensors uh, to be mounted on the engine, uh, one to handle supply, one to handle return, so you can see the actual consumption, the differential. Uh, but with our sensors, you only need one. So the single sensor is going to account for both return flow and uh, engine flow. We finished the installation of the ASM system on the burger, and uh, now we're just going to log into these Garmin's We've already set them up for the most part, but I'll uh, still give you a quick overview. But all the data is coming through, very simple process. Uh, here it goes. So, like I said, we've got everything pretty much set up. We have engine data, we have GPS speed, we have pressures, temperatures, uh, we have fuel flow from our wonderful brand new fuel flow sensor installed down below, uh, as well as our tank data. So, the center tank and the fore tank. Uh, but, you know, again, you see this, but it's as simple as just select the data that you want. So we set these values up in the Garmin screen. Uh, it's very straightforward. And as you can see, it's, it's just a super insightful value. And it's so quick to determine what's happening on this vessel once you have all that analytic data at your fingertips. So we have engine data, we have battery data, and then we have some environmental data, some temperatures, coolants, pressures. You know, we have engine hours in the upper right-hand corner. Just everything you can think of, we have present on these Garmin screens. And you can define how that screen's going to look. So anything you want to add, uh, the system is fully expandable. Uh, your only limit is what you want to install. 